What's next, Captain? Okay. Let's go, Captain. Captain, Lavina Island. Milia's gotta be here somewhere. This island isn't huge, so it shouldn't be too hard to find her if we act fast. Do you think Milia got the medicine? She doesn't know that Castle's okay, so she probably thinks time's against her. If only she left a day later, she'd have been so happy to see Castle back in good health. Castle and Lats must be anxiously awaiting our return. Let's find Milia quickly and bring her back. Hmm, maybe one of the locals has seen her. Let's take a look over there. Hi there. We're looking for our companion. Did you see a blonde knight come through in a hurry? Hmm... You mean that lady with the cool sword? That's the one. She's probably looking for some strong medicine. One of our companions is... er... was very ill. Okay, yeah. I took her to my Uncle Brandon's. He has all sorts of crazy medicines. I've tried a few of them myself. Hear that, Captain? Millie is nearby. I hope she's still picking out medicine. Let's get going. I'm guessing you're Brandon? Lily told us about you. Is it true you're a medicine expert? Why? You looking to get taller too? Well, I'm sorry, little lass, but no medicine can do that. Uh, medicine that makes you taller? I'm tall enough, thank you. But then again, if you have any extra... Wait, 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 no. We're here for our companion. She's looking for medicine that can cure any wound. You know... 
That's exactly what that blonde knight asked me for. The best I had was medicine for minor injuries, so I told her to ask the wandering bard over there. Hmm, I knew it couldn't be that easy. Do you think we'll find Milia there? Excuse me, Miss Bard. Did a blonde knight come to see you by any chance? She's our companion. She probably asked you for some strong medicine. <laughs> hmm. Please call me Viviana. The knight you're searching for is headed to the penguin merchant. My music may mend broken hearts, but it sadly cannot tend to broken bones or other bodily ailments. Ah, a penguin merchant! Of course! They're the best general merchants around. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Let's go, Captain! Good to meet you, Mr. Penguin Merchant. We're looking for someone. A blonde knight. Have you seen anyone like that around? Where are your manners? Tatafi the Great Merchant deserves more formality! Wait! Are you talking about that odd sardine? The one looking for medicine to cure demon wounds? Yes, that sardi- I mean, that person! Her name's Milia. She's our companion. Did she buy some medicine from you, Tatapi? Nope. Demon-related business doesn't pay well in Brelin. Instead, I sold her some information and sent her to the urn of flower beds. Wait, that yellow sardine didn't pay for my service! I don't work for free, you know. Since that knight is your companion, you're also demon hunters, yes? I have an errand you can do to pay off your friend's debt. Oh, but... What if we lose track of Milia? Can I leave this to you, Captain? I'll go after Milia myself. Meet me at the Erna flower beds. You! Go eliminate some Tinas outside the castle gate and talk to Nobu. That flounder will understand why you're there when you say that Tatapi sent you. Cute, cute. Met traveler? <laughs> that was quite the show you put on, huh? Tatapi's errand? <laughs> that cheeky penguin. I gave him the job because he said he could handle it, but here you are in his place. <laughs> I'll let Tatapi know you did away with those troublemakers. Uh, by the way, did you say you're looking for the uh, Erna flower beds? Uh, they're right up ahead. Captain, over here! Nice work! Are you wounded? I rushed over, but Milia was already gone. By the way, this is Uranil. She has something she'd like to share with us. Ah, your companion made it. Shall we get started? <clears throat> Welcome to the Erna Flower Beds in the Jewel of Lavina Island. Erna Flowers are exceptional at healing wounds and soothing pain. Uh, sorry, but we're just here for our companion. Um, her name is Milia, and... 
Urna flowers are a miraculous panacea bestowed upon this continent by the goddess Aurora herself. They'll revitalize your joints and moisturize your hair. Don't believe me? All right, then. You there, brave traveler. Go hunt some of the chinas that have been messing up the flower beds. And in return, I'll let you experience the power of Urna. Captain, could we use the flowers to cure Castle? Oh, uh, what am I saying? Castle is fine. Still, I think it'd be a good idea to test them out like Uranil insists. What do you think, Captain? Want to give it a shot? from one of those Tinas with just a few flower petals. Good. Give it a couple nights, and you won't even remember it was there. Hmm? Still have your doubts, huh? Then allow me to introduce you to the zenith of Lavina Island's blessing, the Piela flower. Look around you. The few purple flowers found scattered amongst the Urna are Piela flowers. If an Urna flower can heal hundreds of diseases, the Piela can heal thousands. Bring me its seeds, and I'll show you. of the seed budding, growing, and blooming will make you forget you were ever in pain. There's nothing these fascinating flowers can't do. <laughs> um, you're breathing pretty heavily. Are you okay? <laughs> hey, like we said, we just want to know where Milia went. Ah, uh, your night friend went to the twin windmills looking ever so distressed. When you find her... Be sure to pay me another visit. She looked as if she could use my revitalizing flower tea. Distressed? Milia? Th that doesn't sound like her at all. And yeah, sure. We'll come back later. Let's get out of here, Captain. I just can't imagine it. When has Milia ever looked distressed? She even seemed fine when Castle fell. She was so full of hope when she left to find medicine. She better not be thinking of doing anything stupid. Oh, no! Milia! Captain, get to the twin windmills as fast as you can!
These are the twin windmills, right? Still no sign of Milia. Behold! I bring exquisite foods from across the sea! <clears throat> not here to buy anything, eh? Ugh, I guess today's just not my day. Well, at least, I still have it better than that sullen blonde sardine. She was so spaced out, she didn't even notice the thieves on her tail. She's probably lost everything by now. You there, starfish! Quit eavesdropping and do me a favor. Go to the prairie and get rid of the Tinos. They're after my goods! Eavesdropping? You were so loud, we couldn't ignore you if we wanted to. Did you hear that, Captain? Milia's by the prairie. He also mentioned thieves. I hope Milia's okay. Let's take a look around. There has to be a witness somewhere. And while we're at it, we may as well deal with those Tinos. If they've seen Millie... Hi! Have you seen a blonde knight? And maybe a pack of thieves following her? Following as in stalking, not like as her companions. She'd never go around with a bunch of thieves. What? Do I seem like I have time to care? Look, just look at this. Look at Sebastian II's delicate little foot. It's wounded. Those damn Tinos. Well, don't just stand there. Teach them a lesson. Can't you see? Poor little Sebastian II is frightened. Now, off with you. Oh, and while you're at it, uh, fetch me the gold coins those Tinos stole. And you'd better not keep them for yourself. Over there! The gold coins! Ooh, they look pretty gross. We took care of those fierce Tinos and brought back your gold coins. Now, can you tell us if you saw a blonde knight? Hmm, I don't know anything about a knight, but I saw a pack of rude, nasty thieves. Now give me the coins. Huh? What the? These are mine? Ah! Those horrid doodles tore out Sebastian II's delicate fur! Those unforgivable! You two, go give them what for! Ugh, I can't believe we've been dragged into this. If we don't find Milia, I'm blaming Sebastian. <sighs> Freaking Tinos! They're tougher than they look! Don't let them pull out your hair! Let you attack, Milia? She's feeling pretty grumpy. What if she breaks your ribs? Uh, what? Uh, I was just running an errand. Then I saw a fight going down, so I hid here to watch. That's all. Huh, sorry, I thought you were a thief in hiding. Wait, did you say fight? Someone's fighting thieves. She's really beating the snot out of them. I almost feel sorry. Captain! That's gotta be Milia! Who else would it be? Can you tell us where she is? Huh? Uh, yeah, sure thing. 
I saw them fighting over there. Hurry, Captain! We can't let Milia slip away again! I missed you? You're not hurt, are you? I have so much to tell you! But first, about Castle. Hush now, Evelyn. I already know Castle's fate. I'm sure it was hard for you. I'm sorry. I just wasn't fast enough. Uh, uh, it's about time I finished my errand, so... See ya! Wait, you! There might still be thieves nearby. We'll take you to... And he's gone. Shh. There's no need to act tough, dear Evelyn. You and Lats are still young. You should lean on Captain and me. We'll bear the weight of losing Castle until you're older and your hearts have hardened, as ours have. Ah, uh, Milia, listen to me. Castle is fine. Very fine. Completely fine, in fact. I don't think she gets it, Captain. We need to j What was that? The boy? That reminds me, Milia, where's your pack? Wait, that boy stole my pack? No wonder I felt lighter than usual. All this time, I thought it was because Castle's soul had left me. Milia... You've known Castle's been fine this entire time, right? Please tell me you knew this whole time and this is one big joke. We really need to get your pack back. There's something on the ground. A gold coin? Looks like a trail of them. Let's follow it. Did they fall from my pack? Silly me being so careless. Hearing that Castle's fine and seeing you two? I let my guard down. The thieves must have attacked Milia after seeing her gold coins. Maybe the boy... Oh, the pack might be empty by the time we get to it. Let's just forget the pack and get you a new one after we meet up with Castle and Lats. They said they'd be waiting in the Terong Woodlands. Castle holds on to most of our money anyways. I'm not just worried about money. I had something extremely important in there. And I'd head straight to the Tarong Woodlands if I could, but... Can we look for just a bit longer? Excuse me, have you seen this boy? He must have passed this way. Hmm, you mean Benny? Yeah, I saw him. He was bragging about something or other. Did he pick up something valuable? Benny, huh? Sounds about right. Do you know where we can find him? I'm not sure. He could be pretty much anywhere on the island. Oh, that's right. His sister Erin is at the Starlight Shore campsite. She might know where he is. Oh, if you're heading to the campsite, could you take care of any doodles on the way? They've gotten rather aggressive lately, and we've been pretty short-handed. Aggressive doodles? That's weird. I wonder what's going on. Usually you can even tame them.
Are you Aaron? I heard you're Benny's older sister. Have you seen him? He has something of mine that's deathly important. My very life depends on it. Milia, don't scare the poor girl. We're Benny's friends. He said he's on an errand, so we want to help. Oh, I never sent him on an errand. What's that troublemaker up to? I should have expected this. With the flower festival coming up, the whole island is bustling. I don't know where he is, but Marimo might. Why don't you ask her? Shh! I'm playing hide-and-seek with my friend. I need to count to 100 and find Daisy in the backyard. You know, if you can find Daisy for me, I'll tell you where Benny is. Daisy is so good at hiding. I'm afraid I'll be it forever. Hide and seek, huh? That brings back memories. I'm game, though I may be a bit rusty. Tickets are too sparse. If she's a good hide. She just runs off? <sighs> Guess there's nothing we can do. Let's go talk to Marima. Yay! Thanks for finding Daisy. She says I'm a cheater for sending someone in my place. Well, maybe she just needs to improve her strategy. Benny went to the beach over there. He's a troublemaker, not a rock climber. So he shouldn't be too far. Considering how fast he got away, I wouldn't be surprised if he is a rock climber. We should hurry. Have my gratitude. It's by Lavina's blessing that I've met you all. I thought I was done for. Did those Roccos and Lobs jump you? They usually stick under boulders. It's rare to see them behave like that. My thoughts exactly. I've lived on this island my whole life, but this is new to me. 
I heard the beach creatures had gotten vicious, but didn't realize how bad it really was. A lot of people stop here for the Erna flowers. This is bad. I need to warn everyone when I get back. Thank you, Traveler. Wait... Captain? Milia? The Roccos and Lobs are acting so weird. <laughs> They've gotten pretty reckless. Maybe they started to see this beach as their domain. <laughs> We're not trying to Markings. They're demon markings. No wonder the Roccos and Lobs are so agitated. This was the last place I expected to find demons. Lavina Island seems so peaceful. Don't worry, Evelyn. We know how to deal with demons. Besides, they've already moved on. These markings are all that's left. Still... Demons on such a lovely island? I'm worried. We should take a look around just in case. The Brelin Dominion saw demons less frequently than anywhere else, right? It's also the farthest dominion from Roxxon where the dimensional gate opened. Demons are popping up all over the place these days. Is anywhere safe? over there. It might be Milia's path. <sighs> no, this isn't mine. Huh? Someone's waving at us. Hey there, youngsters. Have you seen my pack? I lost it while trying to get away from those lobs. Can you help me find it? It's a matter of life and death. If I return home without it, my wife will kill me. Then my precious babies will starve. <gasps> Is this your pack? It was lying on the beach. Why, yes. Yes, it is. Thank you so much. I put all my grog meat in there. Would you care for some? Consider it a show of my gratitude. Huh? Huh? This isn't enough meat. Meat, huh? Like the kind those Roccos over there are eating? Look at that Rocco go! Taking a big old chomp! No! My precious grog meat! Please, I need it! Whatever's left of it anyways. Captain! Milia! We gotta hurry before all of it gets gone! Not much meat left, is there? Maybe we can help fatten the loaves. Most of it, so this is all we have. Hmm. Let's see if some long claws will do. Claws. It's not meat, but it should be enough to keep my wife happy. I can return to my family with my head held high. I can't thank you enough. No worries. By the way, do you happen to know a kid named Benny? Benny? Of course. Is that ruffian causing you trouble? I saw him running up the hill over there. Is he nearby? I hope to find him with my pack, preferably in one piece. Pray that kid didn't eat what's inside my pack like those Roccos did, Captain.
I sense a suspicious presence in that direction. Let's check it out. Look! Benny's over there! You... you little thief! Stealing is bad. Bad! You hear me? Give us back our pack. What? I didn't steal it. I was only borrowing it. I need to practice if I want to be an awesome adventurer. And... I don't have your pack. Some thieves took it. Borrowing my butt. Taking something without asking is stealing. And you lost it. What now, Milia? It's all right, Evelyn. If we know where it is, we can get it back. Where did they go with my pack? Their hideout is over by the coastal cliff. That place is a hive of scum and villainy. And thieves. I bet they're already going through your stuff. No way! Still, Millie is right. We just have to get it back. All right, let's get those thieves. Wait, wait, wait! Take me back to the campsite first. I'm scared monsters are gonna get me if I go alone. Well, you got here alone just fine. Uh, but you're right, it's dangerous. Captain, why don't we bring Benny back to the campsite first? Good idea! <laughs> now let's hurry! I hope they didn't open it yet. I need to get it back before it's too late. Captain, Evelyn, I'll take on the thieves myself. What? M Milia, you're going alone? <laughs> I have to act quickly. You two take your time. Uh, she ran off again. At least we know where to find her this time. Yikes. I knew it. They're everywhere. <laughs> Much meaner than the one I had earlier. a close one. Hey, is that... It's my sister! Benny, you've been up to no good again, haven't you? I am so sorry. I'll make sure this never happens again. You apologize too, Benny. Now. I I'm sorry. Really. I won't do it again. We're really getting our daily exercise in, aren't we? The thieves are at the coastal cliff, right? Well, Benny's back home safe, so we should go help Milia. We can't afford to waste more time and lose Milia again. Hopefully we catch up to her. This is taking longer than expected. Castle and Lats aren't going to be happy. Wait! I have something to tell you before you go! I'm a man of pride and virtue. When I apologize, my word is my bond. I, I can't get your pack back for you, but I can give you this. It's a super rare, super awesome treasure. To repay you for your help. Treasure? We're not broke enough to take some kid's treasure. Hmm, then again, it's rude to refuse a gift. And if it's actually valuable, it'll make Castle happy! What do you think the treasure is? Well, check it out!
critters, sure, but I don't think it'll be useful. Considering how things look, Milia was definitely here. Let's ask that guy over there if he knows where she is. Hey, what happened here? Wah! Oh. Don't scare me like that. I thought you were that woman. I used to think my boss was scary, but now... Someone yelled something about an intruder, but this time I turned around. She was already right in front of me. She moved like lightning. She had me on the ground before I even knew she was there. If I ever get my hands on her... <laughs> I don't even need to hear the rest of the story. I know what happened. Let's find someone else. I didn't steal nothing. I never saw no pack. You'd better not be lying. Captain, there's someone over there. Hopefully they've got something more useful to say. Hey, did you see what happened here? Sure did. Saw every last second. And the merchant's eyes? They don't lie. No siree. The thieves were swept clean by a single night. Those damn dastardly thieves? Full of trickeries and lies. If anyone deserves beating, well, it's that lot. Phew! Just as I thought. Milia wouldn't just sit back and wait for the cavalry to arrive. That night's our companion. Do you know where she went? She headed up that way, chasing the remaining thieves back to their boss, Rolf. The guy's a lot scarier than his underlings. Best be careful around that killer whale. Cute! Much of a challenge. Pretty disappointing, honestly. At least there were a lot of them, so it gave me a good warm up. Wow, you're the only person I know who'd say that. More importantly, what happened to your pack? No luck there, unfortunately. And I forgot to ask the boss about it before the fight. But he did drop a key that looks pretty important, so that's something. It can't be any ordinary key if the boss was carrying it around. Well, now I'm curious. I need to search for my pack anyway. So why don't you find the lock that goes with this key? Captain, what? what do you think we'll find? I... There has to be something valuable stashed here. Otherwise, why would they keep it so well guarded? I don't like this. Maybe they'll move if we ask nicely? Captain! Milia! I found it! The key is this lock. Mm, something about 
this treasure chest just doesn't feel right. Hmm? Is this... a jewel? It's pitch black. I think I get what you mean, Evelyn. Do you feel it too, Captain? Yeah, Captain. I've got a weird feeling. Look, there's also a map. Hmm... Do you think these scribbles are some kind of writing? Looks like it could be some ancient language. But who knows? Maybe Castle or Lats can shed some light on this. Hmm, yeah. Castle knows all about treasure. And Lats knows a thing or two about unusual items. I'm sure they can tell us something about this stuff. It's unlikely these things belong to those thieves. You and the captain both sensed something ominous. There may be a darker secret behind them. Alright, then we should take them. These objects, plus those demon markings... Mm, we definitely have to look into this. Too bad we didn't find Milia's pack, though. Perhaps we could ask a penguin merchant about it. They might have some info on the jewel in the map as well.